Hello, and welcome to this episode of Faces of UCM. I'm your host, Ryan Penny. Today we will speak to a student at UCM who has a love for tennis. My guest name is Brent Brammer, and he has a history of playing the sport. So tell me, when did you start this sport, and what like made you start? Yeah, thanks, uh, Ryan, for having me on. Yeah, I started when I was a little kid, um, just playing for fun um, with family. Um, but I really got into it when I was a high school player, um, started playing clubs, starting having other friends play, and it's really just a joy to um, play tennis, you know, year round and um, everywhere I go, so. Do you have like a reason for why you enjoy the sport so much? Like um, one of the reasons I like it um, is it's just kind of an individual sport. Um, there's mental aspects to the game, there's physical aspects to the game, um, and it's really just an individual sport where you learn a lot of things about yourself um, and also learn how to play with a team like through the high school. Um, you play USTA, you travel a lot, so you just got to see a lot of things and it's not only just the game of tennis, you learn um, friendship um, and how to develop other skills off the court. Now I know you, you have a history with this game, do you have like what you would consider a peak in your time playing the sport, like uh, a greatest moment? Um, probably one of my greatest moments um, was when I got, you know, junior or senior year, um, when I really started developing my skills. I would go to country clubs and play every day after school. I really just developed skills um, through all my coaches. And I think one of my prime times was like my junior year, um, when I really started winning a lot of tournaments, um, USTA and high school tournaments. I really think I, you know, developed and peaked at that moment. Yeah. Um. Now, do you watch this sport on TV, and do you have any favorite uh, stars? Yeah, I definitely watch um, tennis all the time. I watch, you know, highlight clips if I can't make the matches. Um, probably one of my famous, favorite players is probably uh, Roger Federer. Um, he's getting older, um, and I hope he doesn't retire soon, but he's just an all-around player. He's a great guy on and off the court. I think he really just shows, you know, how the game should be played. Um, and with that being said, I think he just really, you know, plays an all-around game. He's a nice guy on and off the court, so. Now, not too many people our age play this sport, I've, I've realized. Why do you think that could be? Um, I don't think tennis is a very popular sport, uh, let alone in America, just because, you know, it's an individual sport. People are used to playing football, baseball, soccer here. Um, and I just chose it just because it's a lifetime sport. Um, and you can play it after, you know, high school, after college um, with your friends, um, when you develop a family. And it's really just something that you can do, you know, with one other person. You don't have to have a whole team of, you know, 11 people um, for a sport. You just have to have, you know, one other person and just a court and you're there to play tennis, so. Great, man. Um, now, where do you play at these days? And how often do you play? Um, I play like a couple times a week now. I used to play every day um, when I was in high school. Um, usually, you know, in the summer I just pick up on the courts, you know, in the neighborhood um, or local courts, you know, around town. Um, in the winter, I usually try to go to, you know, a country club um, just because it's cold and you don't want to play outside in the snow. Um, but yeah, I usually just pick up any court, um, text my buddies and see if they're willing to hit that day and um, we just, you know, get a game going. So. Now, there may be some people watching at home who maybe want to try, but they've never tried and don't know how to start. Do you have any words of encouragement for these people? Yeah, I mean, I would definitely like recommend just, you know, going out, um, grabbing a couple tennis rackets and um, some balls and just, you know, going to hit with some friends. I mean, it's nothing that you have to get serious with if you don't want to, um, but you could always just, you know, go hit with some friends and have a little fun. It's nothing too competitive if, competitive if you like don't want it to be, so. Okay. Now, now I'm realizing, you know, this is a sport that, that seems to have people who are very passionate for it. Is, yeah? Yeah, I would agree. Um, it's definitely like a mental um, and physical sport. Um, there's two aspects to the game. Um, playing with um, teammates and competitors, you really learn about, um, you know, aspects of the game outside of tennis. And I think that you can develop relationships um, off the court. Um, with competitors as well, even. So. Now, now, man, thank you very much for being on the show. You know, it's been a, it's been a great time. And I, I want all of our audience to tune in next time to see another episode of Faces of UCM. Thank you very much, Brent. Thank you.